Hi, I'm Ken with Tiny Circuits here in our Akron, Ohio offices. Welcome to our first ever Tiny Tuesday event. That's where we release a new product every Tuesday. And for our first event, we've got this. This is the Tiny Duino Audio Tiny Shield. As you can see, there's a headset plugged in. I'll unplug that. And this board is composed of several different parts. The main one is there's a 12-bit DAC on the board. And there's also a small potentiometer right here which is used to adjust the volume. And along the top, you can see there's a 3.5 millimeter standard uh, audio headset jack. So to test out the audio tiny shield, we're gonna do a quick little demo. And here we've got all the different pieces that we need for the demo. We have a tiny Duino processor board, and that's gonna run the code. Uh, this is the tiny shield USB. That's gonna supply power, and also be used to download code to the processor board. We also have a micro SD card adapter, Tiny Shield, and a micro SD card. And this has been pre programmed using a computer just with a one wave file. Uh, and that's what the, the program's going to play. And then, of course, we've got the audio Tiny Shield. To put this together, it's pretty simple. I uh, just stack the boards so the order doesn't matter. There, I just plug the USB board into the processor, we'll plug the micro SD card into the stack, plug in the actual card, plug in the audio Tiny Shield. And there it is. It's a very compact stack with the audio board. We also have a USB, and that's going to supply power. And this is the, the headset set, which is actually an amplified pair of speakers. And so when I plug it in and give it power, it should load the program and start playing uh, a WAV file that just says 1 over and over and over again. 1, 1, And there it goes. One. One. This is the source code for the example project that we just ran. Uh, we're using a, a software tool called CodeBender. And CodeBender is a web-based IDE for Arduino sketches. And the cool thing about CodeBender is, well, A, it's web-based, and B, all the libraries and everything are already included in these projects. And so we've loaded in this tiny shield audio board.ino. So our example sketch for this for what we just showed. And the cool thing is it includes all the libraries and everything. Uh, but you can certainly use the standard Arduino IDE. It works pretty much exactly the same way. Uh, we're using the uh, Adafruit Wave HC library. And actually, our Tiny Shield audio board works exactly the same way. It uses the same pinout as the standard Adafruit Wave Shield. And so the nice thing about that is all the examples that exist out there for that will just work as is with uh, our Tiny version. Uh, this project, there's not too much to it. You can see here this file name is the WAV file that we're going to be playing, which is song1.wav. And again, that's an un uncompressed WAV file that's loaded onto the SD card from your PC. Uh, going down, you can see here's the main loop. Uh, the setup really initializes uh, basically the, the SD card loads in, um, you know, make sure that there's a fat uh, file system there. This loop here is just going to play um, what we've got is file name, and you can see the play file right here. And so it's just going to play what we got called song1.wave. And it's just going to play that over and over again. And we'll go ahead and download that within CodeBender. So you can see we've got the project here. There's all the different boards, and so there is a board here for Tiny Duino. Um, the COM port we've got selected. And just through the web browser, we can download uh, directly to our target Tiny Duino device. And so it's downloading the code, and it's flashing away here, and it's now it's loaded. Um, and the other cool thing is you can actually open up like a serial monitor within CodeBender as well. As you can see that down here, so this is our serial monitor. So basically it's playing that song one dot wave about every second. I don't have the speakers plugged in right now, but um, that's pretty much it. So thanks again for taking a look at uh, the Tiny Shield audio board and for participating in Tiny Tuesdays and look forward to seeing you next week as well when we have a new project. Thanks.